Hey, my name is Ralph Marion, and I am, of course, as you can see, an African-American male. I am from and born here in Birmingham, Alabama, and I am 25 years of age. Um, I just watched The Help for the second time, and... That movie, I don't know what it is about it, but somehow, some way, it always gets to me somehow. And a good way, you know, brings me, you know, a little bit of happiness, and then a little bit it brings me a little bit of sadness, and then it brings me a, a little bit of anger as well. Um. Reason I am I'm happy about it because I get to see that out of all of it there was some good things that happened in the movie and it just seemed like the help, the black people that was in the movie were able to get their voice out in a way that I guess people during that time wasn't able to and they was able to bring the voice that needed to be brought out and I'm glad that that was able to happen um it made it was sad for me because it brought a lot of memories not for the help in my eyes but somebody special in my life who um was somewhat of a help my great grandmother, she was, um, she did stuff like that. It wasn't, you know, during the same time period, but she did do stuff like that. My great grandmother did. Um, she did stuff like that when I was younger. And I went to her job every once in a while and saw her do that. And it was just, you know, just cool just to see her, you know, at work and whatnot. And it wasn't like how you see it in the movie, um, you know how they was mistreated or anything like that. She was respected by um, the people that she helped. And they were greatly, greatly thankful for everything that she's done. And um, my great-grandmother passed um, summer last year in um, 2011. And um, it just touched me, you know, just seeing that reminded me of the times I had with her. And um, I truly do miss her. So I know you're watching up there, Granny. And... Carrie Slaughter, rest in peace. I love you, Granny, with all my heart. With all my heart. Um, and the part that touched me and made me upset, just seeing how people could treat another human being that way, and just be able just to say that you know, just because you're a different race or just because you're a different color, that you're almost treated like an animal. And for me, being a black black male in the year 2012, it just kind of gets me the wrong way. Actually, I'm kind of living through my little part. I'm dating a white female. And um, there's some people that are not okay with it. There's, not, there's some people that, you know, think that, oh, black people should just date black people. White people just, just date white people. Well, I'm here to say that I love the girl that I'm with. I love the girl that I'm with with all my heart, and I can never see my life without her. And um, if it wasn't for stuff like this movie or, you know, stuff that Martin Luther King did, a lot of the people who did in the Civil Rights Movement, I would not be in the situation I am today. And I am very glad. I am very happy in the situation I'm in. And I can't see myself any other way. Um, and just know that just because I'm a black male does not mean that <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, the stereotypical what you see on TV or what you hear in music. Yeah, I might be black. I, yeah, I like listen to rap music. Yeah, I like listen to R&B. That doesn't mean that I'm going to be, you know, having my pants all the way down my butt or, you know, spending money or talking all ghetto or if what you want to call it. I'm me. I'm my own person. 
And I just want to make this video because, you know, after seeing that, I just want to get my voice out there to the world and let them know how I truly feel. So, like I said before, actually I want to do this a little different than how I did before. Hello, my name is Ralph Marion. I might be a black man, but I am a person. I am a human being. And hopefully everybody that you see, no matter if you're black, white, Hispanic, Asian, if you're gay, straight, bisexual, if you're old, young, in between, whatever, treat everybody the way that you want to be treated. Treat everybody with the same respect that you want to be respected with. And just treat everybody with kindness. And like they said in the movie, you are smart, <laughs> you're kind, you're intelligent, you're awesome. Everybody just... <sighs> Let's just show a little bit more love to each other than hate. That's all I gotta say. Spread the love. Spread the love.